Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the extended European outlook for today's second video. So, as always on Tuesday, we're having a look at the weather next 30 days or even six weeks uh, with the extended ECM model. And I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just say that first video release today was our 6M UK weather forecast and it's today's 14th hour with all our regular features coming up for you later on today as well. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. Thank you so much to ECM do you have to int for supplying the charts as well by the way make sure you see right i'm going to start off with the uh, week one mean seal pressure anomaly for the 11th to the 18th of march showing low pressure coming in from the atlantic into the west of the Europe. So looking unsettled for much of northern and also western Europe this week. Plenty of low pressure there. I have got some blocking around Greenland and Iceland, but not really strong enough to deliver anything cold into this trough of low. And then there's a ridge building from North Africa into the far south of the Europe as well by the look of it. 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down looks like that. Below average heights, deep low pressure from the Atlantic into the west of Europe. We have got some ridging across southern and southwestern and also some eastern parts of Europe and the jet stream doing something a little bit uh, like that. So a mild week to come across most parts of Europe with temperatures significantly above average again, right away from Ireland and the UK in the west, all the way over to the northwest of Russia in the east. We see the temperature anomaly of about three to six degrees above average, one to three degrees elsewhere. Much of the med looking nice and warm as well. We just have to go to the far north of Scandinavia, Nordic regions, so far north of Norway and Sweden, really possibly far north of Finland, to um, find something a little bit colder than average. Most areas looking uh, very mild, if not quite warm, actually, in the week ahead. And as far as rainfall is concerned, well, quite a bit of variation. Southern Europe looking pretty dry, so a bunch of Spain, Portugal down into the Med. Some parts of France as well, coming out dry over north, very eastern portions of the Med and up towards the Asiatic and the Balkans. There we see being perhaps just a little bit more unsettled. But the really unsettled weather is further north of that, I think. So again, into uh, the UK and Ireland, looking quite wet once more. As does northern France and the Low Countries. Belgium, Holland and the Netherlands and parts of Eastern Europe are looking uh, quite wet uh, as well actually from the Balkans to the Black Sea. Go north and we find that uh, Scandinavian Nordic regions are coming out with above average precipitation in the week ahead. Both the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania are actually looking a little bit drier than average. Week 2 will be the 18th to 25th of March and it still looks very unsettled with further Areas of low pressure from the Atlantic into western parts of Europe yet again. The 500 millibar height anomaly for week two continues to uh, present unsettled signals in the North Atlantic and into the north and the west of Europe. Higher pressure is down across southern parts of Europe and also into uh, eastern portions of Europe as well. The jet stream coming in off the Atlantic is doing something uh, a little bit like that. So most unsettled into the northwest Europe, but driest in central, southern and eastern regions. How's the temperature dominant? Looking again, significantly above average. Once more, we see the very far north of Europe. And by that, I'm really talking about um, central parts of Norway, central northern Sweden and into northern Finland coming out. Uh, drier than normal, but southern portions of Scandinavian Nordic regions like Denmark and uh, southern Sweden here we see above average temperature. Man, everywhere else is above average, uh, really. So we've got Ireland, UK, western parts of France, and down into Portugal around one to three degrees above normal. But east of that, we have a large area of three to six degrees above average temperatures, all the way from eastern parts of Spain right up to the Baltic Sea states, like the Estonia, Lithuania, Belgium. Belarus and into Ukraine and western parts of Russia as well. So a very mild scene for most parts of Europe, if not warm, next week again. And rainfall-wise, it's unsettled once more. Above average rainfall across much of the north and west of Europe again, through Ireland, the UK, France, the low countries, southern parts 
of uh, Norway and Sweden coming out uh, significantly wetter than average. And most wetter than average conditions extend over towards the eastern side of Europe as well. But obviously it is wettest to the west, where we're closer to the Atlantic. Now down across southern Europe, it's rather different there. So dry up and normal conditions through a large portion of Spain, Portugal, again, into the central bowl of the there. So once more, it's another pretty warm and dry week there. Not a bad week for taking yourself off to the Balearics, maybe, <laughs> or Corsica and Sardinia. Right, week three will be the 25th of March to the 1st of April. We still look unsettled across the west of Europe here for the last week of March. Plenty of low pressure in control. I've got some rich in the North Atlantic going up towards Greenland. That will try and pull some cold air into that trough of low. But I think really it is still basically an Atlantic driven flow. Should be pretty mild into many parts of Europe. The 500 millibar heights look like that. Trough of low pressure parked over UK and Ireland, oh dear. Um, the down is going to start with above average heights of ridge of the Atlantic going up towards Greenland yet again. And the temperature anomaly shows that the warmest temperature to average are shifting more towards the eastern side of Europe. So eastern Poland, Belarus, Baltic Sea states and Ukraine coming out above average. That extends down towards Romania and parts of the Balkans as well. 36 degrees above normal there. Coming a little bit cooler on the western side of Europe. So still a bit above average for France, low countries, Germany, southern parts of Scandinavia. But when we get towards the UK and Ireland, possibly Spain, Portugal, very see the temperature then started to revert back closer to average. And out in the Atlantic, you know, it's actually turning uh, a little bit cooler there through the central and uh, northern portion of the Atlantic Ocean. So that size moving a cool down into West of Europe by the end of March. The taste wise remains unsettled though. So that doesn't <laughs> ever change, does it? Northern and West of Europe still coming out with significantly above average rainfall. Much of northern Spain into Portugal, much of France, Ireland, UK, below countries and in Scandinavia above average temp uh, above average rainfall through there. Closer to average or no signal through eastern parts of Europe. And then week four will be the first through to the 8th of March and we have high pressure blocking to the north with low pressure to the west and south and we might be bringing the wind from more of an easterly direction then across northern and west of Europe. The 500 millibar heights look like that. So still with that trough close to the UK, Ireland and France, a ridge over in the east and the north of Europe and out into the Atlantic as well. Temperature anomalies for week four, generally above average in most areas. Um, the mildest temperatures look like they're the further east you go, but overall, pretty mild week to come there through the first week of April. And it remains unsettled once again of our weakening signal, of course, because we're four weeks out now, but it remains unsettled through the western southwest portion of Europe, maybe a little bit drier in the far door. Right, that's the third day look ahead done, but let's go for weeks five and six data before we go, because why not? No, week five will be the 8th through to the 15th of March, with high pressure again up to the north, and around that we might bring the wind in from an easterly direction. The 500 millibar heights again, showing uh, northern blocking up to the north, around Greenland and Iceland, that might pull the wind in to an east or a northeasterly direction. Temperature anomalies, largely above average, except in the far north and northeast, but closer to normal or a little bit on the cooler side. And uh, precipitation, so a little on the drier side of the far north, otherwise slightly above average rainfall. And then lastly, week 6, we the 15th, 22nd of April. No real signal for mean seal pressure anomalies in that week. Um, week 6, 500 millibar heights. Again, weakening signals as we are going so far out. The, the temperature anomaly is you know, close to average, perhaps cooling down slightly, if anything through uh, week six, but it's so far out, but it could just be that the signal is weakening and not much of a signal for rainfall either. So as ever, it all gets a little bit patchy and all gets a little bit uncertain when we get to weeks five and six. But before then, it looks like we're in for plenty more mild weather, but also a lot more rain. I think that's the main story for the rest of March, anyway, in the west and north of Europe, where it looks like we're in for more significant amounts of rainfall. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, the deluge <laughs> continues. Right, so uh, that's it then. Just remember, it's just a snapshot of what the moment is showing. It could look completely different when we look at this again um, next week on Tuesday for the European Outlook. And we will be looking at this model once more on Saturday with an, with an island 
and uh, UK Focus. Uh, but that's how it looks um, this week. Right, so uh, thanks so much for each of you for your IT for private charts. And we're going to be back a little bit later on. We get 10 to 14 there, which will include all other red features. Come back to that a little bit later. But for the extended European Outlook, that's all now. And thanks for watching.